see that fireball coming out? No. We gotta shoot this in some low light. That thing made a big fireball. At the end? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Up on the hand. Oh, got him twice now. Go, go fully semi-auto with it. <laughs> I didn't have your muffs on. Oh yeah, you're plugged in now. <laughs> Alright, wait for the beep. Five seconds. Exactly. Yeah, five seconds exactly. Wow. I was three seconds, 3.22 seconds faster than your last run. Ready. Oh, you're empty. Just locked open. So here it is, honey, the Bear Creek Arsenal upper receiver with our 5D tactical 80% lower yep. build that we put together here, complete with a banana mag. Yep. Autumn. With a banana sticker. Yeah. Autumn painted this mag and and put banana stickers on it. I love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. If I just took every banana we had and just peeled all the stickers off, I would just go. Just covered in banana stickers. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it would look hilarious. So this this build took forever to put together because of the apocalypse that's happening right now. Um, it took well over a month just to get the parts to ship from for the for the lower to put that together. But 
it's all here and we finally got shooting um, we did have a, a move that happened so now we're coming to you from Georgia instead of Florida doing a project up here uh, east of Atlanta yep. we have a Vortex Spitfire scope on it. Autumn really likes this scope. Yeah. It's a 1X. That means there's no magnification and you can use it with or without the uh, without a battery. It does switch from green to red and if you don't have the, the, the color turned on it's just a black reticle in there that's really nice. Um, you have this on three of your guns. You have this on this gun, yeah. your other AR, and, and my SIG. On your MPX. Yeah, yeah, it's a great, great little optic. And then it has a seven and a half inch barrel with a regular old A2 birdcage flash hider on it. Yes, and this is a little bit different. This one doesn't have buttons, it has a dial that you adjust it with. Yeah, this is a different version of the Spitfire. This is, on her, on her other guns, we have the Spitfire AR. And this is just the regular Spitfire that has a, a knob to turn instead of buttons. And this one uses one of the button batteries instead of a triple A. So I think I like I like the triple A version a little bit better. I think the buttons are easier for her to use. Definitely. Uh, but just because this knob's a bit tight. But, yeah. Uh, but anyway, this is about the upper. Um, I thought. I thought we were kind of going to shoot a lot more 22 out of it and kind of have it set up mostly for 22. Yeah. But she ends up liking it more with 5.56. Five, <laughs> yeah, so. but with my other R, AR, I don't know why, but it's more heavy and big. And I like it better with 22s. Yeah. This one's smaller and it's lighter, so I don't know. I don't know if I like the kick more. I don't know. You must. This one definitely has a little bit more recoil than the uh, than the other build that she has, yeah. um, but not no fault of the upper. It's just how we have it set up. Mm -hmm. The seven and a half inch barrel does really boom, though. Ring a ding ding. Yeah. <laughs> we oh. always we always double up on ear pro, but you might have seen in one of the clips she had her plugs in only and no muffs, and she <laughs> said that was a little bit loud. Yeah. So these are these are really loud on indoor ranges too. They're kind of no fun if you take them indoors. Especially if they're 308. Yeah, yeah. These are, they're awful in 308. Um, if I could make one change, one of the changes is I'd probably have the brace in purple as well to match the upper. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would uh, definitely want that. The, 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 as far as the upper itself, just functionality, everything was perfect with it. The, um, the charging handle, I, it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of, of a budget grade of charging handle, so you really feel that whenever you're using it. But other than that, besides the charging handle, that'd be the only thing I'd swap out of this upper, put a better charging handle in it. It's just, you can even hear it's kind of right, it doesn't quite fit right, yeah. just feels kind of cheap. But the rest of this upper is just sweet. They did a perfect job with the Cerakote. And none of these screws have came loose. And that bolt carrier group that they used is just super slick in there. It, oh, it, yeah. It's really smooth. It's the smoothest bolt carrier I've, I've, ever, I've ever handled. Yeah. Do you have any complaints at all about the, the Scott? I wish it was full auto. Yeah? You wish it was full? Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be really awesome. It's only safe and semi. You've had a lot of fun shooting it, right? Yes. I think she handles the recoil really well. I just remembered I wanted to say something. Yeah. If I didn't already dry it, if I didn't already dry the mag, I would paint it purple. You want to paint the mag purple? <laughs> a purple banana mag. A purple banana. Cool. Yeah. A plumana mag. Like an eggplant. A, yeah, a plum, a, an eggplant mag. Yeah. yeah. Just for uh, just for Scott. Eggplant mag just for Scott. Yeah. 50. <laughs> get, it, get, it, get eggplant stickers and put on it too. We should do that. We should make an, an eggplant mag and send it to him and see if he uses it. Oh, do eggplants have gosh. stickers on them? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta make an eggplant mag and send it to him. Yeah. So Bear Creek Arsenal, thank you so much for sending us this upper. It really means a lot to her. Yeah. She 
was so thrilled to receive it and just just loves this gun. This is she's already told me that this is her favorite AR. So um, and she just loves shooting it. So we really appreciate Bear Creek Arsenal for sending that to us. It's been a, a blast to shoot, and uh, we're gonna have it for a long time. So thank Definitely. you. Thank you. All right, you wanna say bye? Yep. Thanks for watching Arms Army. We'll see.